Hey, what's happening, ladies and gents? Uh, we're going to do members-only NBA, kind of free to the public today as well. Uh, I'm on my couch today instead of my normal table spot uh, because I'm old. And after running a bunch of miles and doing a long bike ride, my back hurts, so I need the softer surface. So for you young guys, enjoy having young limbs and body parts until this shit gets old on you and it sucks. Amen to that. All right, so we got four-game NBA or tonight. We actually got a three-gamer start in a few minutes. Uh, I haven't even looked at that one at all. But as far as tonight goes, I just want to reiterate, guys, the website link is below. We redid this a while back, and there's plenty of options. We got a weekly option right here. 15 bucks, get everything for the week. And if you want, like, Discord and stuff like that, then the monthly membership is probably the way to go. And then the bigger memberships for yearly or potential lifetime members. Uh, we try to make things easy on people. And I know for a lot of you guys who have jobs, you can't pour over numbers and stuff like that. We do a write-up where we give you a short list of the players, uh, you know, cash games, um, you know, GPP options and stuff like that, a variety of ways to go. Uh, it's a nice little look. And sign up to play with our friends over at Drafters. Did a couple of drafts myself this morning. Always a blast. Nice, man. Well, I'm excited to get into one of those once we're done here. All right. Cleveland versus Washington tonight. I mean, Russell Westbrook just appears to be a lock on every slate. And you kind of said that last time that at OKC was not where you were going to jump off. <laughs> I agreed. I think we're probably going to agree. He's a good look. Washington needs wins, and he's awesome. Yeah, agreed. You just play him and, and move on. I, I miss when they would price him at, like, over 12K. Same. Like, to make you think about it, but for the, as it stands right now, he's easy to play. We saw Neto get the start last time out with Avija gone and Hachimura gone. He was very admirable. He's a bit pricey today, but he's playing big minutes. Yeah, I'm with you, man. I mean, he's playing big minutes. He's certainly not the lock that he was the past couple slates, or the past slate, excuse me, but wildly in play. Beal's playing better, but I doubt that I would end up here because I don't want to have only Washington guys. Um, I don't know if you differ on that one at all. Not really. I mean, Westbrook's the lock. I don't think Neto's a lock at all. I think it's Westbrook and your boy Bertans. Yeah, Bertans is pricier now, and he came back down to earth last game. Uh, he got into foul trouble and missed a bunch of time. I know he only has three fouls here, but he picked up the all three of them in the first half and had to miss a bunch of run. Didn't pick up any peripherals. Uh, he's not a lock for me at 5,100, but he's in play. Sure, same. They got a bunch of centers here, and you know we talked about Gafford. And then all of a sudden, he started playing lower minutes and Lopez got more. So for me, that's enough of a reason I probably don't end here. But I'm not at all surprised if he goes back to having a big game. Agreed. All right. So your Cleveland is a little bit different today because Colin Sexton is out. I am very interested in your boy Darius Garland, who was in play at this price tag against Washington beforehand, but with no Sexton. Higher up the list. One of my favorite plays on the slate. Yeah, he's a good young player. I think you can just lock in both point guards in this game. I, I am very much interested in doing so, so I'm with you on that one. We might see some Chetty today, huh? It's funny, you know, not playing NBA for a few days because I've been concentrating on baseball and then, like, getting back at it. It's easier to just, like, I don't know, if sometimes, you know, doing that, you refresh your brain. You just, you, there's no reason to make your life more difficult than it needs to be. I mean, Garland and Westbrook just look like locks on this slate. Look like great plays. I think there's a variety of other calves you could check out like i said chetty might get back into the rotation today kevin love seems to be in play but for me it's garland and probably that's about it i hartenstein's in, interesting too just because he's under 4k um but again more of like a just a gpp flyer if you need that price range all right milwaukee against atlanta so there's a part of me that thinks Milwaukee might rest a couple of guys at a couple of big games against Philly the last two days. But now that they knocked off Philly both times, like the number one seeds like for legit in play. So I don't think they're going to mess around today. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. I could see both sides of the equation there. Yeah. Uh, if you go look at your NBA standings, which is something I think you need to start doing every day, guys. This time of the year, some of these teams that have a lot to play for – may not be as likely to rest teams. Other guys might keep doing it. It's tough to say, but it means a lot to me right now, like teams that have something to play for. Like we talked about with Russell Westbrook. Like Washington's in the 10 seed. They're trying to keep moving on up. Winners of seven straight. They have a lot to play for. Yes, they do. So I expect Milwaukee to play to win this game, like because it's a big deal, but there is no Trey Young, potentially no Clint Capella. 
Is some fuckery possible? Absolutely, but it's not what I would guess in this one. Now, if they're without all their good guys, I do worry about a bad Atlanta team. Yeah. You know, Milwaukee takes them too seriously or doesn't take them seriously enough. I also think, like, I agree with you. I don't think they're going to be resting everyone like we saw that one time against Atlanta. But I could easily see Giannis being out or whoever, one guy or two guys, you know? Yeah. Giannis looks a lot better the last two games. As you can see, he rolled into 58 yesterday in 24 minutes, so he didn't have to overexert himself. Um, I, it's difficult to speak on this game without knowing 100% who's that's, going to be in and out for Milwaukee. If everybody's in, I'm really not that interested in any of them. Well, that's the point, yeah. It's like if everyone's in, they're going to roll. Like if they, I agree with you. If everyone's in, it's hard to like them because if they play well, they're probably going to roll. I'm with you. So Goodwin came off the bench the other day. And only played 22 minutes. Now his price tag's up to 4200 If he's starting, he's a lock. But if he's coming off the bench like this and they're going to roll Herter and Bogdanovich in the backcourt, then I don't need him at 22 minutes. I agree. I view him similarly to Neto. Yeah. Yeah. Neto's playing at least playing more minutes maybe. If Goodwin starts, though, like lock him in for my money. Yeah, for sure. Bogdanovich is a little pricey for me at this price point. Yeah, he was awesome to start that game and then kind of – I'm with you. He's just not really a guy I want to spend 8K on. Bad loss for Miami right there. Yeah, for sure. So we saw that when Capella was out the other day, they did actually roll those guys down to the backcourt and they started at Quantico. He was not very good, but if he's starting today, I do have some interest, uh, especially if Milwaukee's like completely undermanned or full strength. Yeah, exactly. If they if they rest a couple of guys and it might be a game, then I'm like less interested if it's like a, a mishmash. Mm-hmm, for sure, for sure. Think about how many guys Atlanta's missing. It's not even just Trey Young. I mean, Cam Reddish, DeAndre Hunter have been out for a while. Chris Dunn hasn't played all year. This team is whoa, whoa, whoa. He's, why is he listed as questionable? Doubtful for, for Sunday's game. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just thought he was out for the season. I didn't know there was any chance he might be back. I saw that he was like starting to practice, so I kind of knew that was looming. Yeah, he won't be playing today, though. No. All right, next up, let's talk about Indiana really, really quickly. On the tail end of a back-to-back, they had to fight for the full game last night. I know Brogdon was playing basically to the last minute. Uh, kudos to the Detroit you know, Pistons for fighting in this one. Uh, we do have some bonus listed as questionable today. Yeah, this is definitely one it's hard to speak on because, like, these guys are all out again, like Goga, Sabonis, Turner. I think you just lock in Brissett. Yeah, Goga is also questionable. Uh, you know, I brought up Brissett as a guy I liked a lot on the slate yesterday. I know you put him in the write-up. He wasn't as good as he was against Oklahoma City, but I think we both kind of assumed that would be the case. He was still rock solid with 32 points, um, you know, against a bad Orlando team. If those guys are all out, He's not the lock that he was yesterday, but he's still a good player. Yeah, I mean, you're right. He's not the lock he was, but I'll still lock him in. I will, too. Like, I'm more worried because this dude played 80 minutes over a couple of games than he hasn't used to that, and he's a little bit more expensive, but I will still play him. Yeah, they need wins, too. I agree with you, like, because it's not going to be shocking if O'Shea Brissett puts up a 20 DK points, and at 5K, like, you're not happy with that. I mean, Jakar Sampson, who was awful yesterday, could be better today. Sumner was awesome yesterday. Yeah, Sumner ate into a lot of guys because he got super hot in the first quarter. Yeah. And, like, Brogdon didn't do he a ton. Brogdon and Levert big time at the beginning. You know, Levert was awful for most of the game. He had he 43 it. total points. He had it all in, like, it felt like about 12 minutes. Yeah, I like – if these guys are out again, I mean, I think I, I like the Indiana guys again. As per usual for DFS, though, like, it's so difficult. When there's, like, four guys questionable, you really don't know where to go with these guys. No, and I'll say this, like, it is different from yesterday because Westbrook and Garland are priorities, in my opinion. So, like, Levert and Brogdon, I like a lot, but I like Westbrook and Garland more. And if Bamba starts, you know, Bamba number five, let's do it. I didn't realize Carter was out, yeah. Questionable today. So it's another guy that's questionable. Oh, you didn't? No. Gotcha. I think it was, yeah, it was the Friday night slate. You were probably all in on baseball that day. Uh, Carter got, like, downgraded later in the day, and then Bamba came in as kind of like a last-minute start. 
It was popular, of course. Yeah, the other thing, like, big men crush Indiana. So, yeah, I'm real interested in Bamba if he's starting. Even at that price tag, guys, Bamba is not a great NBA player, but he's a very good DFS player. He could throw a 40 here easily. Yeah, we liked Anthony the other day. He was bad because he didn't play in the fourth quarter. I mean, New Orleans just flat out punched the Magic in the face, and this one was over early. I kind of had a feeling that would happen. New Orleans had a bunch of tough losses against good teams, and they finally get a cake cake matchup against Orlando. They took care of it. So Indiana, tail end of a back-to-back with travel, depending on who's in or out, I, I could definitely get on board with Cole Anthony. Because like Indiana needs wins. I expect this to be a game, like kind of like Detroit was last night. Yeah, I mean, Indiana's not that good without their best players. No, they're not great anyways, but like missing yeah. – I mean, yeah, I'm with you. Like, All right, and then we get over to Sacramento against Golden State. So we are running with no De'Aaron Fox for a little while. Halliburton's going to get the start today. Uh, The fact that he's shooting guard eligible is big. He's a guy that I'm assuming without looking at ownership percentage is going to be big chalk today and should be. Yeah, him and DeLon Wright. DeLon Wright came back down to earth last start, but I would assume – I'm going to play better today. He did not play big minutes. Uh, I'm assuming he'll have a much bigger role today. He is 5K. It's tough not to at least give him a real good look, but you only have so many guard spots. Who do you like more, DeLon Wright or Neto? Floor, Neto, ceiling, right. I agree. And I, you're right, though. I mean, with only so many – like, I could say not playing either just because – I mean, Westbrook, Garland, Halliburton. That's three guards right there. Also, Terrence Davis has small forward eligibility. And I can see him playing some bigger minutes. What the? Why did he? I'm confused what happened in this game now. Did Tyler Guy play or something like that? Like, why are the minutes so low for right? Fox probably played big minutes. Do you play all 48 minutes or something? Jesus. <laughs> 39. Barnes is a guy who you could definitely see with a nice game here, but I just could never irrationally pay 7800 for him. I'd rather pay, play Bogdanovich. So would I. Heald played big minutes and played awesome. I could see Buddy with a nice game here without Deer and Fox. You could definitely see his shots go up. For sure. You call that a bunch this year. Like, when he gets hot, that's when you want to ride him. Yeah, with no Fox, like, the offense has to come from somewhere. Definitely. On the Golden State side of things, talking through this, though, I think Curry's going to be a little under-owned on this slate. So, you you know, you'll never get him in the single digits on a four-game slate, but maybe a little lower on than you'd anticipate. Yeah, I agree, but I like Westbrook. And, and Garland more. Same. Uh, Jordan Poole's another guy. I think he's in play today, but there's just no way to use him with the guard spots being at a premium. Agreed. Uh, no Bazemore. I got no issues going right back to the hand that fed us the other day with Kelly Oubre. Coming off the bench, like he has balling. Yeah, it's okay that he's coming off the bench because he's yeah. still playing big minutes, guys. It, it's pretty it's good for him. You know, Draymond's up to 7,500, 18 assists the other day. That's nice. Uh, I won't end up here. I think I'm definitely more likely to get to Ubre. Same. I see Kaval Looney a little bit. I think he's playing big minutes. They, they're shallow now. They are. I know Toscano Anderson got a little attention the other day. 4K, he is in play. Looney always seems to be projected from our ownership than he actually gets. He's definitely, you have a saying, more solid than spectacular. That describes him in a heartbeat. That is him. He's like the new P.J. Tucker. Yeah. I know Milwaukee was all excited to get P.J. Tucker. Man, he looks old out there, though. Yeah, I can't see him having a big role in the playoffs. Neither can I. So, we're starting to line up right now. Westbrook, I like this slate, though. I can see that. Westbrook, Halliburton, Darius Garland are the guards that we seem to be looking at, which makes every, and I think these guys will all be relatively popular, which will eat into the ownership of the other guards, whether that be Steph Curry, Malcolm Brogdon, Karis LeVert. I think it makes all those guys harder to get to. You know, Buddy Heald's going to have small forward eligibility, kind of like Cole Anthony, but it'd be really, really hard to get here on this slate because I'll take Garland over him 
And I'll take Halliburton over him. I mean, the other guys, like the, my honorable mention guards are all the Indiana guys, Levert, Brogdon, and McConnell, assuming, you know, the other guys are out. Then we have the Nettos and yeah, so the guard is so loaded here. That's one thing I don't like about the slate. For sure. And if Goodwin is starting all of a sudden and they change things up again, like all of a sudden he's going to be a guy that I'm going to be locking in. I agree. Uh, and I, it seems a lot recently, small forward seems to be one of the weaker positions on the board. Yeah, Your I'm Chet- interested in Buddy Heald and Kelly Oubre right here. Same. Your Chetty call could be intriguing, too, if he's back in the rotation. Yes, yeah, that's so hard. risky, though, because if he's not starting, you don't even know if he'll play. For sure. I mean, definitely. But we know, like, he if he gets run, he's better than 3K. He is, but, like, if he's not starting, I can't play a guy who hasn't played in a week and a half. Yeah, I mean, I I have a hard time playing him also. I, I like the Oubre call. The only thing about Oubre, like, he's not – I'm not going to say he's expensive, but, like, he's a detriment to your cap right here. Like, you know, we're going to need some value plays. And a lot of this will be dictated by what Milwaukee does today too. If they're sure. full strength and we don't have to use any of those guys. Um, a side point. I have to assume that uh, Westbrook will be more popular than Giannis. And with all these guards, if you think like Washington rolls here, you think Westbrook just gives you like a whole hum, like 55, which we've seen a couple of times recently. Like they blew out um, Detroit. This was eight days ago and he rolled into 56 points. Um, It's not impossible. You know, he's got a lot of big games and his floor is amazing. But if you don't think this is a great game because Cleveland doesn't have their best player, and it's in Washington, and you do think Giannis, who didn't stress himself yesterday, is a better play. It does open up guard spots. I don't think it's the optimal play, but it's different. I agree. Uh, honestly, yeah. I mean, I'd be more apt to come off of Hal Burton or, or Garland than Westbrook, but the problem is like those price tags aren't, don't do you anything. So I'm with you. I get your point. Would, would you be with me? Like, I think Westbrook will be double the popularity of Giannis if both guys play. Yeah, and I mean, I think he should be. I, I don't disagree with you. I also think he should be. Uh, it's nice that Giannis wasn't stressed yesterday. You know, this could also be a playdown spot for Milwaukee. Or, Two big games against Philly, and then maybe they're just bad today. So this is, I guess I could see playing Bradley Beal also because of all this. Yeah, it's definitely possible, uh, especially if we get, like, good paydown options. If all of a sudden, you know, uh, we got uh, Bamba and Brissett and stuff like that, you still have Toscano Anderson. For sure. I mean, we didn't even mention a guy like Doug McDermott who could be in play. You might have a Goga. You know, there's a lot to watch in this situation still, but. A ton to watch still. It's NBA. It's nuts this time of the year. You know, we're not that far away from the playoffs, old boys. No, we are not. No, no, we are not. So I'm very much looking forward to that. And, you know, it's time for my 20 seconds of complaining. I hope the NBA does something to work with this as far as the stars being in. Because not only are we losing guys to injury more routinely, but just like the whole rest situation, it just becomes a... I have to assume that the NBA ratings will take a hit if they haven't already. <laughs> Yeah, they have been, and I'm with you 100%. It's something that needs to be changed. Have they been? I, I, I don't know one way or the other. I haven't looked into it or heard anything about it, but I, I know just from like talking to a bunch of you guys, and it's not that the DFS and sports betting community directly is the only thing that brings in people to watch the NBA, but we do influence the numbers. Uh, hell yes, definitely. Amen to all that. The number of messages that we get about, oh, I just can't play right now. It's too insane. Like... <laughs> Understandable, guys. Yeah, sucks, but ugh, can't. I mean, I got no arguments against it. It's such a, like you said yesterday, it's like an actual job just to play it, uh, NBA on a daily basis. It really is. For years, the number of NBA slates that I sat down was like, like as far as main slates was like what one in fifty maybe, and now I, you know, I bow out multiple I don't, times a week if I know that I want to do something that night. If you're covering the NBA, like, and I don't usually play it, like, I am, that's why, you know, if I'm not like covering it because it's so much work, you know, when we're covering it and stuff, we're doing all the work. So, like, I feel like I almost have to play, even though that's stupid reasoning. You know what I mean? But when we're not covering it, it's like, man, it's almost nice to have that breath of fresh air, I guess you could put it. 
there's a lot of nights where like I'll you know I'll write the DK stuff, I'll study it, but I know that between the the last hour before lock that I want to have dinner with my kids or something like that, or a lady friend would be coming over, and I'm well, just not going to be watching it. That's the difference between me and you. You actually have a little bit of a life, so you have you know that reason not to play sometimes. I don't have that excuse. Yeah, I mean, I've even had baseball like twice this year. Twice in the last week, I've had one of my main players get scratched, and I was busy, you know, doing whatever, and I didn't notice it. In basketball, like if you can't pay attention, that is bound to happen. Oh, that will happen like every night. Like that's the thing. If you're playing, like you have no chance of winning an NBA unless you're like following it all night. I mean, it's just what the reality of the situation now. It's stressful, so I understand. Kudos to you guys, though, who still have the. The, the stick to itness and the uh, the love of it. Because I still love playing NBA DFS and I love evaluating and I love talking about it, but I also like getting out of the house every once in a while. Got to assume that most people watching this video are still playing because I don't think they're just watching us for, you know, just because they love us so much. But if you are, hey, we like that too. Yeah, probably not. You're probably there. But anyways, guys, uh, enough of that. Let's go set some baseball lineups. Um, best of luck to everybody today. Write up will be out later on this afternoon. Thanks, guys.